It sounds like the intellectual and emotional sides of Sigma INFJs are complementary. However, if they ever need to aspire to possess either of these qualities, they wish they could pick just one. Here are 10 explanations for why an INFJ person prefers the cerebral to the emotional. Number 10, they hold that while all can experience emotion, only a select few can control it. Sigma INFJs realize it's easy to be emotional. Being open to vulnerability and sensitivity about issues that most people are is simple. However, controlling these desires requires discipline and effort. It requires courage and insight to restrain their powerful emotions. This is a property that Sigma INFJs one should have. They aspire to be someone who is not controlled by their feelings. Otherwise, they might lead miserable lives. They can be grieving over their poor choices and careless deeds as they have regrets. Not being able to control their feelings implies that they conduct according to illogical tendencies, resulting in disastrous effects. Do Sigma INFJs desire that, though? Obviously not. So, individuals are not to fault for choosing to be logical rather than emotional. Number 9. They're sick of having to cope with people's unreasonable feelings. Being emotional might not be a bad thing. Perhaps Sigma INFJs are just tired of dealing with other people's unreasonable and excessive emotions, so much so that they decide not to resonate with them anymore. They're sick to death of people projecting their problems and turmoil onto them. Thus, they will always choose cerebral over emotional if the choice is ever presented. Instead of letting others handle their emotional struggles, they would prefer to be capable of handling them themselves. They would prefer to be the robust, independent individual who takes care of their own troubles and cleans up their own messes rather than upsetting their loved ones with their inner turmoil. Even yet, they have no trouble handling other people's feelings because they are unbothered by anything. They simply don't want to interact with the kind of individuals who weary them. Does being a Sigma INFJ mean you have no one with whom to share your vulnerabilities? Number eight, instead of venting, they would rather be the one who listens. Sigma INFJs can spend the entire day listening to others talk about their feelings, issues, and experiences in relationships. They can tolerate hearing other people's stories. Rather of receiving advice, you should be the one to give it. Why? All of it comes down to not being able to trust the people they want to be vulnerable with. They believe that having intellect benefits both themselves and those around them more. While it aids in their emotional regulation, it also enables them to provide wise counsel and attentive listening to their afflicted pals. They become more perceptive and receptive to others who require their comfort. As a result, if it weren't for their intellectual prowess, Sigma INFJs wouldn't be as perceptive of others' emotions. Number seven, they seek an unbiased perspective. Sigma INFJs are aware of the harm that being highly emotional and sensitive can do to their lives. Rather than observing people in circumstances with objectivity, impartiality, and fairness, they might perceive them in their own way. Instead of relying on data and observations from the plane, they might do so based on their personal interests and preconceptions. And it goes without saying that a highly rational person would want to avoid this. Sigma INFJs would be interested in hearing all of the viewpoints. They detest concentrating on their biases since doing so prevents them from making wise decisions. They are aware of the damage bad judgment may do to their relationships at work and their general quality of life. So, if forced to pick between the cerebral and the emotional, they will always opt for the former. Because of this, Sigma INFJs are regarded as some of the most capable decision makers among all personality types. What more ways does objective thinking help you as a Sigma INFJ? Number six, they won't dwell on the details. Over-emotionality is the root cause of overthinking. And that was never a goal for Sigma INFJs. If they are required to envision what they want their evolved selves to look like in the future, 
It must be intelligent, practical, and smart. And the reason is because they don't want to add unneeded, pointless stress to their lives. Unavoidably, relationships have challenges from time to time. But, instead of grieving over what happened, the downward spiral of unpleasant realizations occurs. Sigma INFJs prefer to let events develop naturally and let the truth surface. Just because they think something or someone they love might have cheated on them, they can't put their comfort or productivity in danger. Sigma INFJ is always rooting for their sanity, so they can just do that. Number 5. They don't want to be very cordial with others. Sigma INFJs have discovered that you can never be too polite to people because not everyone is trustworthy. Not everyone has the best of motives. And just as circumspect and reticent as Sigma INFJs, they don't want to get involved in relationships because doing so would just cause confusion and trauma. Omega INFJs have developed into their best selves because they have left behind abusive and destructive relationships. Because of the insightful insights they gleaned from their past, they unleashed their inner nature. And the last thing they'll do is revert to their previous behaviors and show generosity to everyone, even if they don't deserve it. And because some of their painful past experiences were brought on by their emotional side, they'd rather continue to be cautious and wise. And as they firmly implement their boundaries in this manner, they will be less likely to abuse. Do you believe it is possible to be both emotionally open and circumspect as an INFJ Sigma? Number 4. They don't want to be controlled by their subconscious. They want to be self-aware. Again, Sigma INFJs believe that showing emotion is acceptable. But wisdom must accompany it. Sigma INFJs want to have a strong sense of self since emotional intelligence leads to this. Instead of acting out their unconscious tendencies or blindly following them, they wish to increase their awareness or consciousness of their goal. They desire a deeper understanding of their flaws and assets. And having done so, they will understand how to appropriately react to obstacles and triggers. Sigma INFJs can be realistic with their worldview expectations and goals thanks to their self-awareness. This is not a quality of who I am. They can avoid acting solely on their emotions. They become defensive in the face of criticism because they are emotional. They respond calmly and appropriately because they are intelligent. Because they are more aware of themselves than others. Number three, instead of forming unstable relationships, they want to develop healthy, productive ones. Unfortunately, being too emotional leads to conflict and chaos in relationships. And highly emotional, explosive, and dramatic spouse is more difficult to manage than an exceptionally intellectual one. Sigma INFJs will still desire to be intelligent if given the option. They believe that people's capacity for sorting is what leads to happy, healthy partnerships. Compromise and rationalize your decisions. They believe that the partnership survives because both parties are intelligent. INFJs who are in Sigma should be in this. Instead of becoming another war to fight, they want to comprehend the demands, difficulties, and complexities of their relationship. Instead of a battleground, they want to be their partner's safe haven. Sometimes displaying drama and sensitivity might lead to unneeded fights. Intelligent people find solutions to problems. And they also want their future partner to have rich comprehension if they ever get into a relationship. Excellent intelligence and Is intelligence a requirement in your relationship if you are an INFJ Sigma? Number two, they don't want to expect others to reciprocate. The Sigma INFJ occasionally demands things that others are unable to provide because they are highly emotional. They demand more from the people they love because they are vulnerable and expect more in return. And because they frequently experience disappointment as a result of these expectations. To be truly happy, they would prefer to be emotionally independent and self-sufficient. It takes brains to achieve that. 
Sigma INFJs don't see the sense in expecting others to reciprocate their emotions if they are able to meet their own emotional demands. If these people are simply able to give the basic minimum, they cannot expect others to be as profound and true as they are. In fact, most INFJs feel that taking care of oneself rather than relying on unsatisfactory relationships is more gratifying. Number one, they don't want to waste their time worrying about pointless stuff. Their emotionality can only serve as a diversion for four Sigma INFJs. It draws their focus away from their objectives and onto things that are only important for a short while, such as unhealthy relationships, peer pressure, and irrational decisions. Because Sigma INFJs will only get less focused on what really counts as a result of emotions. These feature-oriented, disconnected, and independent people simply desire what will be best for them in the future. They don't want that. They risk losing themselves in fleeting emotions and squandering wonderful possibilities that come their way. This is among the worst and most idiotic things the Sigma INFJ can do for themselves. Sigma INFJs prefer to be busy doing the tasks, while others lament about things that, five to ten years later, don't really matter. Is being less emotional a sign of greater productivity for an INFJ? There are several reasons for the INFJ Sigma to aspire to be an intellectual. It is understandable why they seek solace from individuals who are intelligent or even smarter than themselves. Can you relate to these reasons as a Sigma INFJ? Do you surround yourself with smart people as well? 